Terima kasih. Yeah, Ben, good faster Ben. Okay, okay, okay. So the last time Ben, we have okay. The last time, the last lesson we have unit four he ended at task four. Unit four, the end. Unit four F ended task four. So let us now have unit four F task five. Okay. Match the highlighted formal expressions in the letter with the informal words and phrases below. Okay, you match now. Same story, Abi. Sa? Bukan sama nanya story, An. B, pag B.
Okay. Ah. Okay, number one. Okay, said to showed her. Okay, she didn't say sorry. Really think or uh, re feel strong, it means he really thinks. Okay, reviewed, it means he look at. I try to review, I try to look at. How about arise? Oh, happen. There will be an arising storm. So it means there will be storm happening. Not inconvenience. What do you, what do you mean? It is do not have problems. Okay, not inconvenience. Receive, God. Maintain, it means said, produce, showed her. There was no apology at any point. It means she didn't say sorry. When someone did not say apology, oh, she didn't say sorry. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Please try to look at this one. This one, Ben. We can find two examples of the subjun uh, sorry, subjunctive form in the letter. Okay, listen. We can use the subjunctive in formal English for requests, for suggestions, and for demands. The subjunctive form of the verb is the same as the base form. The subjunctive form of the verb is the same as the base form. You will say go, be, look. Go. Be, look. Okay. The verb be remains unchanged in the present tense and becomes where in the past tense. Okay. So, it remains unchanged in the present tense and becomes where in the past tense. With the use of subjunctive in that process with us, demand, Rico, example then. Oh, I suggest this is subjunctive. I suggest. Another subjunctive then is, firstly, I suggest that your online booking, this is subjunctive. So it means you suggest, you request, you demand. So if you think the sentences are doing in these three forms, we call it subjunctive form. Okay. Next one. Finally, I request. Very easy, right? I request that there will be sufficient bed linen okay that's i request okay you understand ben you understand ben okay okay so you read the task below make notes about what will complain about use the ideas below or your own idea hey example ben okay wait here example you read the task below. This one, no food available. Make note about what you will complain about. Use the idea below or your own ideas. Like you will say, I suggest there will be enough food for everyone. Okay. Or I request like that. You use a subjunctive verb. Okay, Ben. Okay. You write here, Ben. You can write here in the chat box. Here or in use the Different notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six sentences. Okay. Uh, but why I don't understand yet. Oh, example, Ben, listen. No food available. So you will say, make notes about what you will complain about no food available. So example, you will use this is subjunctive. Subjunctive, you use subjunctive like, I suggest there will be enough food for everyone because I might get hungry. Okay, the food is not good like that. Okay? You use subjunctive. I suggest and I request. Uh, choose one or... Any. It, it, it is up to you, Ben. It's up to you. Just use one. It could be suggest or request. Okay? 
Do not make it hard. Just easy for you. Okay, <laughs> 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 few minutes. Wait me a few minutes.
Okay. Okay, where is your answer, Ben? It is right there. Okay. So there was a problem about shop, swimming pool, etc. was closed. I suggest that you should open every shop, swimming pool, and everything. These are the reasons. First, you should open a shop, supermarket, because if they were closed, how can we buy food and things we need? Very good. Secondly, you should open swimming pool because spelling, Ben, please watch your spelling. How could a children, okay, wait. Spelling. How could a children learn to swim if swimming pools are closed? Third, do not put Lee. Third, you should open restaurant because if we go home late and don't have time to do cooking or to cook, then, okay, to do cooking or to cook, or you don't have any food, but you are lazy to cook. You are lazy to cook. Where could we eat if all the restaurants are closed? Very good. This question, Ben, is correct. Just be careful with some of the verb. Okay. Finally, I suggested to wait. Oh my God. I suggested you shouldn't close hotel because. If there are group, there are a group of do not put a. Uh, there are a group of tourists. Just come to our country and they find a place to stay for a night. Where could they go? Very good, Ben. And that's all the things I want to suggest. I hope you can fix that problem. Okay, very good. Only few, Ben, is correct. You need to revise some of the few. Okay, like you don't have. Time to do the cooking like that. But the rest is very good, Ben. Great job, Ben. Very good. Okay. Can you wait me for a minute? Yeah, yes. Okay. okay, I will share it now, Ben. Okay, so we are done with those activities. Let's move to the next. Okay, why it is very noisy in your place, Ben? Just a moment. Relationship. We are talking about relationships. Okay, first, 
Look up this picture and answer the questions. Okay. What do you think is the difference between immediate family and extended family? Do you have any idea? What is immediate family and what is extended family? Do you have any idea, Ben? What is hmm? immediate family? Okay, so when you say immediate family, which family members would you include in each group? So look at are they many or are they just uh they're just few? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so what do you think this one? What do you think is immediate family? Do you have any idea what is immediate family? Ben, when you say immediate family, it is, what is it, Ben? So immediately family uh, is just a small up family where parents have the same like work like life. immediate family like just family your mom your dad your lulu uh, your grandfather your grandma that's immediate family extended family it is your cousins or your relatives they are part of the extended family how about your family what kind of family did you have extended family ah you have many uncles and aunties yeah okay that would be great okay so we have here been some of the words to describe admire right. adore very invade and common so these are some of the personality in the people because we are talking here personality okay so ben let us continue this topic tomorrow and we're going to talk again this one so it is you we are already unit five okay ben ben i will see you tomorrow ben for the construction of our lesson for unit 5a Okay, bye for now, Ben, and thank you so much for today. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.